Okay, guys, we're going to go through the e scan today um, and how to attach uh, screenshots to the invoices so we can impress our customers. Um, so let's go to the e scan. I started it up already. Let's go to the car. This is an Audi A3 with the uh, 2 liter turbo. Um, and it's got the um, VIN in there. So I'm going to screenshot that so we can attach it. All you got to do is push the little bullseye button, and it saves the screenshot. We're going to check for codes. Go to DTCs. No codes stored at this point. I'm going to screenshot that, and then go to monitors. All the monitors are set. Um, and so because these on the bottom are grayed out, so those don't apply to this car, basically. Maybe the heated calcium converter monitor, but let's see what the other ones are. Yeah, so the heated cap may not be set. Um, I doubt that the AC system refrigerant monitor um, complete has anything to do with this car. Um, but I think both those at the bottom don't relate to this car. Um, if, let's say, you know, we get the car in, there's no codes, and all the monitors are reset, or, you know, they're cleared out, they're all red, then obviously somebody else has been working on this, and they um, cleared the codes before we got the car, so they may need to do some driving to um, get them, you know, get that code to set again, or get some more information from the customer and see who's been working on it, and what codes they got, and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go to the PIDs. Ton of them, but the most of the time uh, we're looking for fuel trims, and um, these look like they're in range. Um, short term is good. It's only a little bit rich, three percent. That's not going to set the light. Uh, anything over fifteen, long term, um, can definitely set the light. Um, there's oh, go back to the pits, and we're going to screenshot that. And then maybe we should get the air mass sensor reading. This is a two liter. Um, grams per second should be pretty close to displacement of the car. Um, I just started it, so it might be a little bit on the high side because you want to test those when the car is warm. Um, three is a little bit on the high side, but I wouldn't uh, condemn that quite yet. Um, so I'm going to screenshot that. And then the digital is just the just a meter. Um, see how cold it is. It's only 54 degrees. So we'll see. The car's going to warm up, and we'll go from there. Um, so mode six. So you want to pick. I doubt that um, this car is going to be in the system. So let's see. Yeah, Audi. So pick that one. Read all mode six data once. There it goes. Um, if you see any red, there's something going on there. Um, you know, the uh, we've got. Um, So the main thing is the, you know, you get a lot of information about uh, misfires. So, um, you know, if you've got one in the red, but it's not necessarily misfiring right now, then obviously it misfired in the past. Um, what else? We've got the tank leak test, small leak, um, pinhole leak, and fuel tank leak test small leak, um, tank vent valve, and if any of those are in the red, then we've got something going on with the EVAP system, um, so sometimes, you know, you can catch that and um, go check the gas cap, and maybe the gas cap is starting to fail before it even starts, you know, setting the light. Um, we want to 
go to sharpshooter, so we're going to capture that. And then we're going to go to sharpshooter. And I think you guys all know how to run the test. Um, but you always want to run the fuel trim and the volumetric efficiency, especially if you have fuel trim issues. Um, those are the two most important. Um, if somebody's complaining about gas mileage, you can see how efficient it's running. Um, generally, though, if fuel trims are good, it is what it is. But something to, something to uh, possibly use if we've got a gas mileage issue. Um, we've got the cat efficiency test. Um, you've got to set all the, like, fuel trims. Fuel control's got to be, fuel trim's got to be good. Coolant temperature ha has to be above 170 Fahrenheit. Um, you have to run the RPMs for 1,800 RPMs for one minute, and then do a snap throttle. Once those all are green, you can go test it. Um, but when you're driving it, you kind of have to, you can't be accelerating really hard. It has to be kind of a constant speed um, on the freeway. Um, 55 and 70 miles an hour, somewhere in that area, but it won't show the correct efficiency unless you drive it that way, basically. Um, so I'm going to capture that. Let's see, we did the volumetric efficiency test. We did the, back to here, we did the fuel trim test. We did the volumetric efficiency test. I'm saving that. Um, so the temperature one, if we suspect that the thermostat may be failing. Um, a lot of times, readiness will not set if that thermostat's not doing well, uh, even without setting a code. So you'd want to run this test from cold um, to, to warm, and it'll tell you if the, you know, the uh, thermostat is uh, running, uh, heating up fast enough. So something quick and easy to try. So we ran that, we're saving that, and then we can go to, if we have a misfire or any sort of fuel trim problem, then we can do the um, relative compression test. So this is pretty accurate. Um, it doesn't tell you, you know, what cylinder it is, but um, it'll tell you if you've got a little hole. customer. 
customer that has got some issues. So I'm just going to do one of them, but the um, I'm going to show you how to attach it to an invoice. So go to Shopware, log in, and then go to Attach. And then it'll bring you to the screenshots. So I went ahead and cleared out, and you can do, I went ahead and cleared out um, the old files, because once it's on Shopware, I doubt we're going to have to reference it, but if there's a bunch of them in there, the newer ones are going to be toward the bottom, um, and um, they are dated. Should be able to see, you know, what date is today. We should be able to pick the one there. So at this point, what I would do once you attach them all, go back to your computer and type it in because it takes forever on the tablet. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know, and um, we'll go from there.